guys? Long time no see. I know I hadn't posted a video in about two weeks. I've had a lot going on, you know, from work to uh, everything else. So, um, but, of course, how could I not go to see Captain America Civil War? You know what I mean? I mean, this is, this is it. This is the start of the summer movie season. Here I am. And I probably hadn't shot a video with this background maybe in over a month. I can't even remember what the film was that I last reviewed here because I've been having a lot of guests, you know, Chancey Bradley, Ryan Abbott, and I would always shoot um, in a different area uh, to, to sort of fit both of us, I guess, because um, there's only one seat here. But um, yeah, uh, so here I am. I'm back. Happy to be back. And, uh, and I know I was supposed to have Chancey Bradley in this review with me, but uh, scheduling just couldn't uh, approve that, I guess. So um, he's going to do the spoiler review with me. But he did see the film with me last night. Uh, so you will hear his thoughts on this movie uh, in the future, probably next week sometime. Next Friday, next Saturday, there will be a spoiler review up for Captain America. Civil War. Maybe even joined by Ryan Abbott as well. We have to see how everything works out. But Captain America Civil War, it stars, instead of just naming everybody, I'm just going to say it stars all of the Avengers minus Hulk and Thor. Everybody else is in this film. Plus, we're introduced to Spider-Man, first time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Black Panther. Uh, no spoilers in this review. I'll say it again, obviously. Uh, but what I can tell you is that this movie is freaking fantastic. <laughs> um, that's, uh, that's pretty much um, how I could put it. I absolutely loved this movie. After it started, I was just completely in and I was engaged in the story. I'm just where everything went from you know the first Iron Man film to where we are now in this world, in this universe... It's, it's, it's kind of compelling. I mean, we have Captain America's side who doesn't want to be sort of controlled by the government. And if he sees a situation going south, he, you know, has an urge that he has to jump in and, and uh, help. And he has to attempt to fix the problem. And Tony Stark's side, he feels as though after everything that's happened in the past with him, you know, uh, in, in the first Iron Man film, how he learned how his weapons were being used... Uh, poorly and how they were being used uh, sort of uh, terroristic weapons I guess the uh, terroristic group in that film was using uh, his weapons he shut down Stark Enterprises and then from everything that happened in Age of Ultron how he created Ultron you know um, so he just feels as though they need to be put in check and it needs to be sort of uh, contained kind of violence because too many people are getting uh, injured and too many people are getting killed, uh, which is it's fine. It's, it's a great sort of argument. You have this side and you have this side. So going into the film, I'm thinking to myself, whose side am I actually on? And for some strange reason, I, I couldn't pick one because they're both, you know, uh, right in a sense. You know what I mean? So, you know, during the film... Uh, I felt the same way, you know, I, 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 even watching the movie, I couldn't even choose because I, I was just so engaged in the whole entire thing. I just wanted to see how it was going to play out and, um, no spoilers, obviously, but the way it, it does play out is, uh, is really, it's really good and it's, it's really, uh, gripping, you know, story wise and visually it's fantastic. I think that this film contains one of the best sequences, uh, one of the best fight sequences in comic book film history and maybe film history in general, I found myself, you know, I had a smile from, from, uh, cheek to, from ear to ear, you know, I, I loved it, I was laughing, I was cracking up, I was slapping my knees during the thing, it was, it was great, it was, it was really hilarious, uh, and they show, like, five percent of the fight in the trailers, has to do with an airport where the one side and the other side kind of clash. So in all the clips, all the promotional material, so that's not a spoiler. But that is the scene, and it is absolutely phenomenal. 
and the acting in the film is great too but what what do you expect i mean you're not gonna have all these actors be in these movies for so long and just kind of check out you know what i mean they're they're all into it and they're all invested into their characters as well robert downey jr is fantastic chris evans is fantastic um paul rudd is ant-man is <laughs> one of the best things in the film and one of the funniest things in the film that's how i felt that i really i love his character even from the first ant-man movie i'm a big fan uh and i think he was used wonderfully in this film the introdu uh the introduction of black panther the introduction <laughs> um the introduction of black panther uh i thought was handled really well i thought that was really good uh, and I cared about his character, and I completely bought into what he was trying to do. So it worked for me. And Spider-Man. This is something that could have gone horribly wrong. Uh, again, no spoilers, but from the way that Sony handled him in The Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, personally, I just, I just didn't really enjoy those movies very much. I mean, Andrew Garfield gave a fine performance, but I just felt like his version of Peter Parker was, was just very different. And uh, I, I wasn't really a big fan of it. Uh, but with this film, this is the Spider-Man I wanted to see. I think they introduced him wonderfully. And we'll get more into that in my spoilers review. But uh, just the use of Spider-Man in this movie and how they utilize him into the story and how they work him in it's 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 great and um i'll say something that uh chris stuckman has said i think this is the best uh version of spider-man we've ever seen since uh sam raimi's spider-man 2 which i love that film it's one of my favorite comic book films of all time and uh guess what now civil war is too i mean this movie i can't wait to see it again the 3D was fine, because I did see it in 3D. I don't, I don't really think that it was really fantastic in 3D. Not like a movie like The Jungle Book, where you, where you see it in 3D and it, it enhances the film. You know, I, I just felt as though that the 3D... I mean, in scenes, it was good and noticeable, but the whole way through, it's not really anything too fantastic. But if you want to see it in an IMAX theater, I don't know if you really have a choice. You might have to see it in 3D. Uh, but yeah... Overall, Captain America Civil War is great. I, I loved it. It's a fantastic film. The only uh, nitpicks, uh, gripes I have about the movie are the main villain. Uh, Zemo, I think his uh, name is. Uh, I just felt as though he wasn't really developed that well. I mean, the movie doesn't really focus on him, but he's, he's like a very key point to the story. And they, they don't really show him a lot, you know. Um, and I, I felt as though he could have been handled a little better. He could have been fleshed out a little more. Um, and that's really it. I mean, it, I, if you want to get really nitpicky, I could say the score by Henry Jackman I didn't really enjoy. You know, nothing really stood out to me. It's just a bunch of notes being thrown in there when they had to be. You know, I just really didn't feel like it was a great score like uh, the Winter Soldier's score, or the first Avengers score, or the Avengers score, you know. Uh, Alan Silvestri's score for that film is probably the best score in the MCU so far. Uh, I, I really love that, that theme. It's, it's really fantastic. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give Captain America Civil War 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, this very well might be my favorite film of the year so far. I know I gave Deadpool 5 out of 5, but just my sheer enjoyment of this movie um might have been a little more than deadpool but as a film deadpool didn't really have problems you know what i mean there was no weak villain i didn't think in that movie i just thought it was it was a it was a very well made film maybe a perfect not, maybe a perfect film i don't know i mean there was really that's a different conversation but uh, i'm just going to say civil war uh is is probably my favorite film of the year so far even though I did give it a four and a half out of five. But guys, I want you to comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on seeing this film? And uh, if you do, and if you have seen it already, comment your thoughts below, please. And uh, no spoilers, obviously, but let me know uh, what you thought about it. 
Also, if you guys want to rank your films in the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you want to go top 13, I'm going to do that for you right now. All right, this is going to be nuts. I'm going to give you my top 13 films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm going to do it really quick. At number one, I have the Avengers. At number two, I have the first Iron Man. Three is Captain America Civil War. Four, Ant-Man. Five, Guardians of the Galaxy. Six, Avengers Age of Ultron. Seven, I have Thor. Eight, I have Captain America the First Avenger. Nine, I have Captain America the Winter Soldier. Ten, I have the Incredible Hulk. 11, I have Iron Man 3, 12, Thor the Dark World, and 13, Iron Man 2. That's my top 13. If you guys agree with that, you can comment also. If you don't agree with it, would you flip anything up? You can also comment. Uh, but that is my list. If you disagree, be nice about it. You know, don't, don't tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me that you disagree, okay? Because none of us are wrong. Our, our opinions are our opinions. Uh, and I know, I have Civil, uh, uh, the Winter Soldier, at what, 9 or 10, something like that, towards the bottom? But you got to keep in mind, something I want to say about that list. I have most of those films at 4.5 out of 5 stars, all right? I have Avengers and Iron Man at 5 out of 5, and then I have Civil War, Ant-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Age of Ultron, Thor... Captain America the First Avenger, Captain America the Winter Soldier, all at four and a half out of five stars, okay? And then The Incredible Hulk I have at four, Iron Man three, and Thor of the Dark World I have at three and a half, and Iron Man two I have at three out of five. There you go. That's my list. So guys, you can also subscribe to this channel for upcoming reviews. Like I said, next week you're going to get a spoiler review for Civil War, joined by Chancey Bradley, possibly Ryan Abbott. We'll have to see how the scheduling goes. Uh, if you guys watch my Blu-ray unboxings, the next one is going to be for Deadpool. Most likely on Tuesday, that's going to be up. The film releases Tuesday on Blu-ray. I'm going to try my hardest to do that. But you will definitely get a Deadpool, uh, Deadpool Blu-ray unboxing up on this channel. I guarantee it. Uh, this is the summer movie season, guys. So you got all these summer movies coming. you got Neighbors 2 I'm excited for. you got X-Men Apocalypse. The Conjuring 2. I cannot wait the sequel to my favorite horror film of all time, and that is The Conjuring. I've been pretty open about that, my favorite horror film. I love it. Uh, can't wait for the sequel. It looks promising. It looks great. It's done by the same people, so let's go. Uh, guys, that's about it. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. You can also follow me on Snapchat at RyanKing72 and on Instagram at KingerRises131. Guys, thank you very much for watching my review for Captain America Civil War. Over and out. All right, I've run out of patience. On the roof! Hey everyone.